Hello there my Funatics, we are back for some more VGC battle spot and I'll be using my Mega Blastoise team for one more time so let's go and find a battle. If you remember last time I won one and I lost one, I won against a Mega Kang team which was uh, yeah, it was it was a good win. It was a pretty pretty good win. But then the next battle, uh, they came quite close, and I lost to a Mega Morwild team. It was just a little tricky to. Uh, there was just one tricky prediction that I got wrong. Uh, I felt like they didn't preserve a win condition that they could have done, but in the end, it worked out very well for them. Uh, this team is super, super standard, which means that I know what my leads are going to be. It's going to be right to Blastoise, because they're actually really good leads against this kind of team. And then the other Pokemon that I want to bring, I want to bring an Aegislash, because it deals well with a lot of those Pokemon there, um, except for Heatran, which I definitely need more things to deal with. And also... Yeah, it's just the heat. And also Suicune, I can't do too much against. So I think I'm going to bring Virizion on as well. I think that's going to be my team. Uh, right to Blastoise is actually a great matchup against this kind of team because I have a faster fake out than Mr. Kangaskhan over there. I have the Aura Sphere that threatens a lot of his Pokemon. And I also have the Ice Beam that does like over. I think it does about 70% to defensive Landorus. Uh, and obviously it just takes out pretty much any form of Landorus, I think. Uh, but that's going to be a Scarf Landorus because uh, most likely, just looking at his team structure, it's a very standard team and uh, the Thunderous Scarf Lando lead is really common as well. So uh, Thunderous can't touch Raichu, which is really great. Uh, as long as Raichu stays around, Thunderous can't touch Blastoise either, which is pretty great. So let's see what they lead with. They lead with the Kangaskhan and the Landorus. I feel like... Uh, Lando might just attack my right to there. What I want to do, I think, hmm. Uh, so I want to fake out. I want to fake out the Kangaskhan for sure, and I think I'm gonna Mega Evolve and maybe just Gold Lando because I think that does kill anyway. Or I could Aura Sphere the Kangaskhan. But I think that the Lando is a bigger threat to my team at the moment. Do I want to Ice Beam instead? No, I want to Scold the Lando. Uh, that's probably the play that I want to do. He's actually withdrawing his Kangaskhan, which is fine. He might U-turn out with his Landorus, which is also fine. His Thunderous can't do anything to me. Uh, so I don't really know why he's brought it in. Unless he's getting like a super power off on the uh, Raichu as a Kamikaze kind of thing which would be fine. I did consider faking out the Lando, but if he decided to stay in, then that wouldn't be great. Yeah, so he is actually just sacking his uh, Landorus here, which is fine with me. I will be able to take that out with the Scold, uh, because it's a Scarf one, and yeah, it's dead. So that's good. That's a good start. Now I need to try and protect my right to. Uh, I'm going to protect with it. <laughs> I'm going to go for the protect, because Thunderous can't do anything to Blastoise. I do want to target down the Thunderous if I can. He might go into his Kangaskhan right here to fake out the Blastoise or maybe fake out the Raichu. Because if he fakes out the Raichu, he would be able to hit my Blastoise with the electric type move. So he's going into the Kang now. I do have my Aegislash that can deal with that relatively well. I'm going to protect Raichu here and I'm going to go straight for the Ice Beam on the Thunderous because Thunderous is a bit of a problem. Uh, it will be able to do annoying things to my team. Um, but right to, I really want to keep around if I can. I feel like if I can get rid of this Thunderous very quickly, then I'm not too bothered. He's going for the Mega Evolution with the Kangaskhan. I'm interested to see what he does go for. He could go... I mean, what one play would be just to go straight for the Double Edge onto Blastoise. I think I'm Eevee so that I can live that. But we'll see. Uh, so he's going to fake out... Yeah, he's faking out the right two, and he's going for the Thunderbolt, which is great. He thought that he could just take out the right two, which obviously he can't because I'm protecting. I can go on for the Ice Beam on the Thunderous, and that will take him down very low, which is brilliant. Although, actually, that's not going to be a 2 KO. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. That's going to be a 2 KO. Uh, so, I think he has to go for the Double Edge. You know what? I can Encore, potentially Encore his Kangaskhan, um, maybe. What do I want to get rid of here? I still want to attack into the Thunderous. I think Thunderous... Yeah, I think what he can do... Oh, he's swaggering! 
Oh no, please, please, please let me get this Encore off. If I can get this Encore off, then I pretty much win. No, 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 yes! Oh my god, I think I've just won, like, a straight away, because Ice Beam's gonna kill that Thunderous, and he's locked into Fake Out right now. He should have Hidden Power Iced, but he might not have it on his Thunderous slot, uh, on his Thunderous set, so his Thunderous is dead. This is, this is why Mega Blastoise Raichu is so great. It is so good. Oh, it just makes me so happy that people aren't prepared for it at all with this really standard stuff. Uh, so that's good, and it's not just it's not just a gimmick. Like it works non-standard as well. Uh, so here, I think I'm just going. Sylveon's not a problem for Aegis Dash, so I'm going to try and take out this here Kangaskhan if I can, uh, which I should be able to actually. If I yeah, I snap out of confusion, which is great. This the, the Thunderbolt and Aura Sphere will take out the Kangaskhan n no matter what the set. Uh, so that's really good, and we'll, I'll probably get a double down to the Sylveon's Hyper Voice, but I'm not bothered at this stage because I have the Age of Slash and Back, which just wins from here. Blastoise might live this, actually. No, that's Spec, so it can't live that. But that means that it's even e easier for Age of Slash because it literally can't do anything. I think that's Spec, so I think Blast Blastoise is pretty bulky. I do have a lot of speed investment as well, though. So that's going to Age of Slash. And let's go into Virizion, and I think I just win if I click Flash Cannon Leaf Blade. Yeah, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't wouldn't want to do that. Uh, yeah, easy, easy. So that was the kind of team that I know exactly what I need to do against it uh, with my ones. He went for the Lando Kang lead, which isn't normally. It's normally uh, like. Kang and maybe Thunderous or Thunderous Lando, but it worked out fine. So yeah, he may he manages to take out my uh, my thingy Verizion, but I can just flash cannon here and take it out from there. So that was a very quick battle, but it's that's the kind of thing I wanted to show off before I finished using this team. And seeing as though this was the last time I was going to use the Mega Blastoise team, I'm very glad that it happened. And you could see how powerful the right two Blastoise combination can be. He really didn't have anything for it. Um, or she. It's a she! That's a Hexamaniac, Sam! What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, so that worked out pretty well. I'm not gonna save that because I recorded it live. Um, so let's get another battle and go from there. I would very much like to continue battling. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, so we'll go battle box and go from there! Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing some more of these VGC battles. My rating is climbing. I think the last person probably had the highest rating of battles so far. Well, that's good. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to do more of the VGC stuff. I'm going to try and use some stuff that you don't see that often. So I'll probably use my Sceptile, the Sceptile Rotom team that I used on Showdown, but I've altered it a bit, so now I'm using Pledge Moves and a Swampert, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I'll try and get using that. This is a really unconventional team, which worries me a bit because I don't know how to deal with it. My team is slightly unconventional, um, and people don't know what the Blastoise runs, which is cool, but yeah, this looks really hard to, hard to do anything against. Um, I definitely want Aegis Slash here. But he's gonna have a really annoying shit. He's got the Zorok. So let's lead with. I think I definitely want a fake out lead. And I think Blastoise looks okay here. But then I'm thinking Aegis Slash for sure. And is Arcanine good? Arcanine can take the fairy moves. It can intimidate a Glade. It can also snarl, which is pretty good. Um, do I have enough for uh, that Greninja? I've got. Mm, Maybe, maybe, maybe. Frizion doesn't deal with that either. I don't deal with Greninja very well, and actually I've seen more used recently than ever, which is cool. I want to try out Greninja. I've never really used it in BTC format. Uh, I would quite like to try it out. Uh, but we'll see how this goes. I'm not feeling too confident, because as I said, I don't like facing these darn weird teams. Uh, I can't see... I couldn't see what the gimmick was there, and there may well be a, a gimmick. So we've got... Hmm... Is one of these a Zorok? I don't know. But this isn't a bad lead. I can just uh, fake out onto Gardevoir and Scold onto 
wait, is that scored? No, that was Aura Sphere. Scored onto Volk. And if he wants to protect with something, so he's withdrawing the Volcarona. So I don't think that was, I do not, what is he bringing in though? This is going to take a massive hit. And I outspeed with my Raichu, which will be able to finish it off. I think I outspeed with my Raichu. I'm, I may well not speed with my, outspeed with my Raichu. I forget Frostlass's speed. I don't, I don't, I haven't been playing UU so much, so I haven't seen too many of them. I might want to check that. I might just want to check that. Okay, so Gardevoir's coming here. I'm just going to fake out that Gardevoir and get a scold onto... That was a crit! Yes! Crit mattered! Crit mattered! And Frostlass takes a huge hit. And it's actually Citrus, but I think Thunderbolt might be able to take it out from there. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to try Thunderbolt the Frostlass and switch into Aegislash. Even though he might be going for like a Shadow Ball onto my Blastoise spot, which would not be ideal. I could go into Arcanine here actually, Arcanine seems to be a safer switch. Uh, even though there's special attacks and that's not ideal. Um, but he also resists Fairy and he resists Ice and he's a bit more, I think he's a bit more expendable than... Aegislash, I can't let Aegislash take too much damage. So Raichu's going for the Thunderbolt, please take out this Frostlass. Yes! Oh, 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 I love my Raichu! My shiny bread Raichu is so great. What? Okay, so Moonblast I think does more than Hyper Voice if it's mono target, so I kind of get that. Also, it's got a special attack drop chance, but that's weird. That is weird. I've not seen that before, and I don't think that that is a good thing to do. Um... <laughs> So here, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is... Mm, do I want to switch on my right to into Aegislash here? I might. I think I might. And it means that I can preserve it for later, which could be useful because it's fast and it has the fake out, which is always nice. And I'm going to try and Will-O-Wisp that there, Gallade. Unfortunately, I did get the special attack drop, but I don't think that... Uh, these two both have massive special defense, so... Uh, Arcanine isn't going to be doing too much damage with the uh, special attacks anyway. And I can't go for Snarls either because I could be giving Justified Boosts to Gallade, which is very unfortunate because Snarling on Gardevoir would be really useful. But I can burn them both, hopefully, and that will be fine. I'm going to Wisp this Gallade, which I outspeed, which is great. It's probably like an, a bulky AV set. Um, but that's really good that I outspeed it. This is going to do huge damage to Arcanine. He might just be doubling to Arcanine now. Uh, I do have the Citrus though. I love this. I do actually love this Arcanine. I'm so glad that I'm, uh, I'm using it here because I've just been using Volcarona and trying it out. It's actually working really well. And that does nothing after the burn. That does nothing. Oh, Arcanine, you're great. So I think the biggest threat here is Gardevoir. I could try and substitute um, with my. Yeah, with my Age Slash because I'm not too worried about anything really. Uh, the Shadow Ball from the Gardevoir is the most worrying thing, but I'm going to try and burn the Gardevoir and ha get some residual on that as well. Not that it's... I, I think it might be able to live a Shadow Ball or a Flash, flash Cannon, so just getting... Flash Cannon! Um, so just getting a bit more down. Yeah, it does have the Shadow Ball. Please don't do too much. I am quite especially bulky. Is that a crit? Yeah, that was a crit. Damn it! Damn it all! That's not going to take out my Arcanine. That was a crit too! God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! This is this is very annoying. So I'll, I'll just sub in there with my Age of Slash. I might King Shield next turn to get some left to use recovery and uh, just let my Arcanine go down because then I can get a fake out off with my uh, right chew as I take something out. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Just get some left to use back with my Age of Slash and a what? Flamethrower onto Gallade. Let's do that. Aegis is using King Shield as I think he might he might Shadow Ball into that slot. And I think he's gonna try and take Oh wait. Oh I will speed them both. Is this a trick room team? I don't know. That was a lot of damage seeing as though I've gotten a special attack drop. And he's going for the drain punch, which will take me out. Um, but it won't give him much health. In fact he's gonna lose health from the burn. So this is looking pretty good. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. I can go into right you here. I could even go into Blastoise. Uh, no, I'm going to go into Raichu to... Who do I want to fake out? 
Do I? I still have my. Uh, I still have my Sasha and I. I'm gonna fake out Glade because it's very low and it means that anything can take it out. And while I take out the, yeah, I still have my Sash, so I can fake out Glade. Uh, it'll take the fake out damage. Oh wait, no, I can't. Does that have any focus? Yeah, I think it has. It. Well, it has steadfast. That's bad. Uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, just thunderbolt it and flat. No, shadow ball. May as well shadow ball that Gardevoir and thunderbolt or even protect. Yeah, I'm going to protect Raichu, actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to protect Raichu and preserve my Sash. There's no point in me attacking now, because I can get a bit more damage onto... Um, I can get a bit more damage onto Gallade, where, to the point where I'll be confident I'll be taking it out next turn. Wait, did I just outspeed Gardevoir? Or has it already gone for a move? I looked away, because that's weird. Oh, we might be going for Trick Room. That would be really odd. It would be an odd time to try and set up Trick Room. But yeah, there we go. Especially when I've got an Aegislash slash behind a sub, that'll be a really stupid time to set up straight room. Maybe I just missed it go for an attack. Oh the rage quit! Oh my god, the rage quit is real. Rage quit. So there we go. That's fine. Um yeah, I'd have been able to thunderbolt that thing with the right two next turn and my Aegislash slash will would still be behind a sub and I still have my Blastoise that MVP. Um, so I would have won that one too. So I'm gonna leave it there for this battle You saw how this team functions pretty well over the entire time including my very first one as well I think I have gone uh, four for four or five uh, Wins, which is pretty good. I actually have been doing even better than that on showdown um, I don't, I'm not sure I might have lost with this team like once but I've had over t uh, well over ten battles well over ten battles on showdown. So, I don't know. It's a very good team. If you want to try it out, I might leave the link in the description. I probably will, so you can look at it there. And we'll move on to bigger and better things with new teams coming soon. Look forward to that. I have been Fufu, you have been awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Bye!